So a lot of people, when they get a piece of new gear, they do an unboxing on YouTube. And so I thought I'd do an unboxing on my new umbrella, my replacement umbrella. I just bought Gossamer Gear Light Trek. But it came in a tube. We're going to have to do an untubing. <laughs> Actually, that's Hollywood. I've already had this thing opened. I've played with it. Uh, I like it a lot. It's exactly what I was hoping would show up, and uh, I'll give you a review of it right now. So again, what showed up was exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, Garage Grown Gear even sent me a little toothbrush, which I probably won't use. My toothbrush goes in a little case. Uh, I don't know what I put this in to keep toothpaste residue off my gear, but that was nice of them. I got a little gift. Kind of like opening a Cracker Jack box. Anyway, this umbrella looks so similar to my uh, old chrome dome. And, you know, my biggest fear was, again, the diameter of this uh, shaft so it fit into my hydration clips. That is exactly the size of my other one. I really hardly see any difference between this and my old one. And again, that's what I was after. So there are a couple of differences between this Gossamer Gear Light Trek and my Chrome Dome. And I knew that going in because I watched enough YouTubes and read enough reviews. And uh, one of the reviews was one of those pro and con things. And when I was done reading it, I thought, you know, they really couldn't come up with a con, but they needed one. And so they said that, like most umbrellas, this one has like a locking mechanism, a little button here on the shaft, and that it was a pain in the butt opening and closing this umbrella. But everything else seemed to be what I wanted, so I thought, well, I can deal with that. But now that I have it, I find that's a non-issue. I just pull this down past that button, up past it, I don't have to deal with that button at all. It opens and closes as easy as my chrome dome. Maybe there's some advantage to that button I don't even know yet, that locking mechanism. I don't know why it's on there, but um, it's something that this doesn't have yet. The other thing is, this on my scale is eight ounces. This one's 6.6, .6, so it's actually lighter. And uh, that works for me. So anyway, I've had comments from people that say they've tried that hydration clip thing and it doesn't work. The umbrella blows off. Um, you know, a few things that maybe I haven't mentioned in past videos that could be a problem. Um, number one, just getting used to gear. I mean, when I first started using this, I used it in Glacier. And, you know, I didn't have the hydration clips at that time. I was trying straps and twist ties and all kinds of things. And... The biggest problem with that is when I wanted to take it off and on quickly, which I do a lot, I had to untie stuff and you know, it just it was a pain. Whereas with these clips, I just chop chop and it, it's done. And uh, I think part of the problem is that some of these umbrellas, I don't know what they have for an umbrella, but some of these umbrellas just don't have uh, the shaft diameter. You know, some of them are carbon and I've never had one, so I don't know what their shaft diameter is but they have carbon, they have fiberglass, and those shafts might be smaller diameter, and so they just don't, you know, fit tight into these hydration clips. You know, mine just fit really nice and tight in here, and, um, you know, again, I've showed where it goes up and down. It stays in place. I've never had it blow off sideways. The other thing that I haven't mentioned, you know, those hydration clips, they rotate. So if you've got it on your pack, uh, they'll rotate and, and I weave mine in. So I have one clip going left and the other going right. So it, it kind of has some stability. I started out with three clips. I thought maybe I needed three. So I'd weave it left, right, left. And uh, then I, after a while, I figured, you know, I don't even need that third clip. Two clips do it just fine. I've hiked thousands of miles with this umbrella in this position, hands-free, and I just never had a problem. But that could be, you know, try that. Uh, make sure your diameter is tight in here. You know, rotate those clips. 
you know when you put these clips on these straps too um, they're not going to stay there they you know they clip in but they'll fall out i i put gorilla tape duct tape you know you know i tape them on there once i get them locked in and uh, you know that could be an issue too maybe it's not the clip maybe the clips falling out of your strap so you know try those things another point is you know this thing turning inside out again my last one did it several times and I was always careful but I brought it back and it never broke but you know at uh, Kennedy Meadows I talked to a bunch of people that I mean that uh, there was a 35 gallon drum there full of umbrellas people came across the Mojave and they were done with umbrellas uh, they bought them for the Sun and uh, you know they just didn't work for them that's fine so if you want a free umbrella go to Kennedy Meadows but the other thing is, um, you know, your umbrella will tell you when to take it down. Um, a lot of times mine collapses this way uh, in a wind when it's getting really bad. So when it does that a few times, I know, you know, it's probably time. And the other thing is it'll, again, even though this is tight in these clips, it'll come up and I'll have to pull it down. It'll go up and, you know, you, you have to have a conversation with your umbrella you know any relationship coach will tell you that uh, uh, you need to validate and so you need to you know you're walking along so who are you gonna talk to talk to your umbrella your umbrella wants to tell you that hey it's time for me to come down and and it's giving you these signs you know again this thing will collapse and uh, that's a good sign to stow it it's it's over you know there's just too much wind it won't take a lot of wind the other thing is not to expect uh, too much from your umbrella. There's no air conditioner on top of this thing. You know, it's basically to keep that sun from beating on you. You know, it's going to change the temperature a few degrees, but really just to keep that sun and those rays from beating you to death is really the optimal use for this thing. But then in rain, again, you know, people say, well, I can... I can deal with rain, I've got rain gear. Well, you know, that's true and you know, to each his own. But to me, when I'm in a heavy rain and it's beating on my head, uh, uh, beating in my face, this is so nice to just have it. You know, if I wanna deal with something like electronics, I'm under here dealing with it and keeping them dry, um, eating something, whatever. It's just a huge protection. It, you know, it's not going to keep all the water off your pack, but it's going to run off that umbrella and uh, keep a lot of your pack dry. Keep it a lot drier than it would be uh, without an umbrella. Um, the other thing, I, I've i never done this, um, but I think it would work. I've been in a rainstorm on the AT where I was getting into my pack and I took the umbrella off and set it down and it collects water. and so. If it's raining, I mean, you'd have to have a, a situation where you needed water and couldn't find a good source and it was raining hard, but that thing would collect water and you could, you know, I poured it out, shook it off, it would pour into a water bottle. Um, that's probably a little far-fetched, but it could happen. Uh, you know, on the Arizona Trail, I can remember days when I'm just so hot this is before my umbrella days and you know a saguaro is about that big around and so it doesn't put a lot of shade out but i can remember just finding that shade path of one saguaro and kind of hunkering down in it just trying to get some shade for a few minutes and uh, you know ever since i started wearing an umbrella i've got that saguaro on my head all the time I've got that shade and so it just makes at least for me it makes a huge difference I've had sunstroke I've you know I've run out of water had sunstroke on the trail I've done it all and and uh, this really is kind of the answer for me as far as Sun I I just can't take that Sun anymore and I like the fact that I don't have to wear my hat I can this is my giant hat so whenever I have this on this is going in my kangaroo pocket and I just got like a little cool breeze running over my head as I'm going forward and uh, it's you know it's something 
everybody's got to hike their own hike and decide their own gear but it's something to consider and if you're not wearing an umbrella because it just doesn't work for you uh, clip wise uh, there's something wrong there because it, it will work and it'll work well if you have the right diameter shaft the right clips it's really a, a no-brainer keep smiling